Hey, what's up guys? Rick from Save the Pandas here. We're back at Angeles today. And today we're gonna be painting on these old school classic vans. Last time we painted vans, we went with the canvas. This time we're going with the nice tumble leather. We're gonna do one of my favorite styles. It's something that I grew up with and it's gonna be some graffiti. So let's have some fun. All right, so the first step we're gonna do is we're gonna start taping down the soles and we're gonna be using the red vinyl tape. So since these are leather, we have to use this to take off the coat. Last time that we painted on canvas, it was a whole different method. So if you guys wanna go back and watch that video, you guys could check out how we did that one. So now we're gonna start sketching it out. So for these, we're gonna go with some bubble letters or throwies. You might have seen these in your local walls. So I was influenced by graffiti because growing up in LA, you would just see it everywhere. You see all these murals, and that's something that even now, you see me incorporating it into my art. So yeah, graffiti is part of my culture. It's part of a lot of people's culture. It's hip hop. You know, you see it in skating. It's just, it's everywhere. It's been around for a very long time, and now it's getting more popular than ever. So now that everything is drawn in, now that everything's prepped, we can start painting. So right now we're gonna go with the petal pink as the base color. And we're gonna use that for the old. Okay, so now we have the base coat down for the old. Now we're gonna use the gift box blue for the school. Now we're gonna start adding some detail and we're gonna go with the hot pink. All right, we gave the hot pink two coats and so now we're moving on and we're gonna use the turquoise and we're gonna paint that over the gift box blue. Last time that we painted on the canvas shoes, we have to use two soft, we have to prep it. It's a whole different process. With this one, two coats and we're good. Now that the letters are all filled in, we're gonna start painting in the background. We're actually gonna paint some bubbles right here on the side. And for this one, it's fun because we're just using the stitching that the shoe already has and we're guiding ourselves with that for the bubbles. Okay, so the next thing we're gonna do, we're actually gonna use the airbrush for this one. We're gonna use the hot pink on this shoe and we're gonna airbrush on here and try to give it a spray paint effect. All right, so for the airbrush gun, you always have to use too thin. And we're gonna use the droplet. It's much easier and cleaner. So one thing I use to give it the splatter effect, you could use any type of cardboard, nothing, nothing too thick. We're actually using the band sticker. I'm really excited to use these. Actually, before I used to use brush, I would use nothing but paint markers for everything. So I'm really excited to use these. Comes with two empty paint markers, come with the droplets, and one really cool thing that a lot of other paint markers don't do, it comes with all these extra nibs. 
So for this, you're gonna have to use a mixture, half and half. We're gonna go ahead and pour in the black first, and now we're gonna have to too thin. Mix it up very well. After you mix it up, you're gonna keep pressing down until you start seeing the paint fill up the nib. Okay, so now we're gonna mix up another paint marker and we're gonna mix it with orange because we're gonna do an outline around the letters. So these paint markers are so smooth that I actually feel like I'm drawing on a black book. Bringing back a lot of memories right now. Now we're gonna come in and add detail. We're gonna use some of this violet to go over the black on the shadow to give it that little pop. All right, now let's have some fun and let's tag these shoes up. So we're trying to figure out what color laces to go with and we couldn't think of a color we wanted. So how about we customize our laces as well. It's just a small area that we're gonna be painting on and since it won't be flexing, it'll just stay on the laces. We don't need to use too soft for these. All right guys, so we're all done. The shoes are all laced up. We went with the custom splatter laces. And for this project, one of the main things we were trying to use was the paint marker. And I loved it. It's very convenient. You don't have to keep dipping the brush back in the paint. Everything is here, ready to use. It covered very well. And another cool thing about this project is that it took me back to my younger days, back when I was doing graffiti and you know, having fun and tagging and all that stuff. So thank you, Angelus, for bringing back all that nostalgia with these shoes. Thank you so much for watching. If you guys have any ideas or you guys wanna see any other new projects, please comment down below. Comment, like, and subscribe, and please follow us at, at Save the Pandas. Thank you.